Hi, I'm Deborah, and I'm the owner and creative designer of the Fair and Party, where I create decorations for all types of events. Today, I will be making a diaper train, something that I've never made before, so you're coming along this journey with me. Here are the items that I'll be using, and I will put them in the description box. Let's get started. So I've seen diaper trains online, so I have an idea of how it's going to look, or how it should look, I should say. So what I'm going to do is start off with the wheels. So I'm going to have three sets of wheels, four diapers each. I'm going to roll them like that and oops, put a rubber band around it. Oh, you know what? I'm going to need a tube. I think I want bigger, more diapers. These seem kind of small. I think I'm going to use five diapers each for the, uh, for the wheels. Those wheels seem small. And because the diapers is only five diapers, it's only a little bit of diapers, I don't need the pan. I can just roll them like this. Straighten out. So these are the wheels. These, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be the top back part. I don't know what it's called. But this is going to be one of the parts of the train. And I'm going to need some more diapers since I added, um, since I'm using five of the wheels instead of four. I'm going to grab a few more diapers. So this is six. So since I'm doing five here, so this is, I'm going to use this board. This is too small, so I think I'm going to put more. I think ten will be better. Yeah, I'm going to put ten in this one. So here's when I would usually use the pan. But I don't want to. So I'm just gonna cascade them like this. I hope they don't come apart. I think I'm gonna use the pan. No, I'm not gonna use the pan. I don't need the pan. See? Just straighten it out. It can be done without the pan. See, now if I was using more diapers, more than 10, then yeah, I'm gonna need the pan because my hands aren't that big. It's a little loose now, but I'll tighten it later. And so I will need, I think, a train that's gonna go something like this. And this will be here. So I would need something for here. And I think um, five diapers of We'll be fine there as well. Oh, I'm actually going to put this bottle there, so... Hmm. So indecisive. I'm just going to use four for that part. I said I haven't done this before. Sorry. We're learning together. So, now I have six sets of diapers. This is... We have a set of uh, a roll of 10 diapers, we have three rolls of five diapers, one roll of four diapers, and one roll of two diapers. And we are going to put them together. We're going to start with the wheels. Let's pick these aside. I have five blankets, and I'm going to put three on the wheels. This will go up top. This will go up top. This will be the base, and this will be the wheels. No. This will be the base, and these will be the wheels. Here we go. So to wrap the wheels, I have the blankets. I roll all my blankets up for storage purposes. Why well, I'm telling you that really doesn't matter. I want to fold the blanket so it's the same size as the diapers. They're wrapped. Now I'm going to wrap the back part. What is that called? The cabin because it's out now. I don't think that matters right now what it's called. 
So I'm gonna start worrying about it. I had something smaller like a bib, but I don't. So another blanket will do. We'll have to do. I have bibs, but I didn't get a bib that will match this particular set. I'm oh, sorry, not a bib. What are they called? Burp cloths. Just something smaller, but I don't have one that will match. So I'm just gonna use another blanket. I will wrap with the wash washcloth. If it'll fit. These are so tiny. Where did I get these from? These will fit. They're like so small. Everything is rolled. I'm going to cover the base. The base is kind of big, so I might have to cut it down some. I'm gonna cut it down and wrap it with this blanket. Good. Okay. I wrap the cardboard. This blanket is also slow. So, I have a pet peeve with blankets, receiving blankets bought from the store. Why? Please somebody tell me, why are there so many of those little tags all over the blankets? It is so annoying to try to um, take out because they're everywhere and then they leave little holes in the blankets. I really don't understand, but maybe somebody can give me a good explanation for that. I don't like it. Because oh. some of the board shows, I don't want the board to show. So what I will do... So I would just make it a little bit shorter. Nope, don't like it like that either. Like I never rolled a blanket before. I made it so complicated. I was trying to like tuck it, have it tucked in itself, but it wasn't working. I just made it complicated. This is gonna go at the bottom, so I'm just gonna fold it in and place some tape here. All right, there's the base. So, you know what else I forgot? Maybe I'll just put it on top of here for now. I can't do that. All right, so I needed another piece of cardboard because while this is the base of, well, this is gonna be in the center of the train, it's gonna go above the wheels, I need something for the train to actually sit on. So that's what, where this is gonna come in. And I'm gonna cut it the same size whew, as the other one, seven inches. Oh, actually, I just remembered I have a bunch of these white pieces of cardboard that I used for my old uh, ribbon shelf. And I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut this into seven inches and I will use this. That way I don't have to wrap it with anything. Cause I don't think I have another blanket that'll match that I, want, that I actually want to use for it. We have the base. Uh, we've got a wheel. We've got another wheel. got some ribbon that I'm going to wrap around each of the, the wheels. I have two shades of white ribbon here because they're, it's like a mint blue and like a teal that's on the blanket. So I have a teal and mint blue ribbon. I may or may not use both. I'm not sure. All right, so I'm gonna use the teal ribbon to cover the rubber bands for each of the tires. I'm also going to use it to cover the 
other rubber bands, just so it's uniform. So I'm gonna glue my ribbon together and then place it over the, the, the blankets. finish before I start talking about how easy it is. <laughs> I think I'm almost done. So for the wheels, we're going to put the wheels together or I'm going to put the wheels together with this. Let me see how well you can see. I'm not going to cut the ribbon yet. I'm going to place the ribbon through one side of the wheels and pull it out the other. Place it through the second wheel and pull it out. Make it short straight. Then placing it through the third wheel, pulling it out. And then I'm going to go back. So now it's at the front. Here. I'm going to try something really quick. Instead of cutting it right there, I'm going to place it around here. Oh, got it. Okay. I'm going to do that. Alright, so I'm going to pull it out some more. The board will go on top, and this piece will go here. So I'm putting it here so I can see where, um, oh, and that will go, man. All right, so, I'm just gonna cut it right there. All right, cool, cool, cool. So here are, here's how the, can you see the wheels will look with those, uh, I don't know what it's called. It's the things, it's like things that connect the wheels that make the wheels. God, I need to Google this stuff. I'm sounding really unintelligent right now. Okay, this will go here. But before I put this here, I've got a ball that's going to serve as the light, I guess. Isn't that what's up front? I mean, I think I know that much. The light. choo-choo part. <laughs> what? Anyways, I'm going to stick them into the bottom of this. I'm going to glue it on the back. I'm going to trim it so it looks nice first, of course, and then I'll glue it on the back. Now it's time for this back part. So I'm going to take my ribbon and push it through the back of and attach it tight around here. It's gonna get covered so that works well. I got a white washcloth to place into this part. I feel like it's missing something. Maybe the board is too long. Here is what's irking me. I needed to make it a little closer. So the socks can, may or may not be able to stay. Maybe I can put them on the back like this. 
So what I'm doing right now is I am putting another one of another ribbon to wrap across the front this part. All right. So what I'm going to do is tie it kind of tight and then slide it around so it goes into the wheels so you can't see. Slide that down really quick. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue just so this top ribbon will stay. Okay, so this is all I could find at the moment that matches the color scheme I'm going for. I was looking for something circular. I would have to cut it out. I don't feel like doing that right now, so I have a baby boy sign that I will glue right in the middle. Okay, I don't think I did too bad for my first try. What do you think? This is my first diaper train. I love the colors. Simple, not too much going on. What do you think? How did I do for my first try? Let me know. Thanks for watching my video on how I made my first diaper train. I have a list of things that I've got to make. It's just a matter of me figuring out which one to do first. So, subscribe and stay tuned. Bye.